Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Stern Designs. Today what I want to do is show you a really easy V-neckline finish that I'm featuring on my new Anna dress pattern. This pattern will be available in the next week or so. I'm finishing up with a wonderful group of pattern testers. Um, one of the testers had asked me if I could do a video showing how to do this neckline finish and I love my pattern tester so I figured I would accommodate her and then it'll be very cool for everybody else to see how to do it as well. And if you have a v-neck top that's not the Anna dress, um, you can feel free to use it with any uh, pattern that's your favorite that has a V if you want to try something different. You can see here I have a dress that I've already finished in front of me and the whole idea with this is we're taking a knit strip and we're overlapping it in the, um, the V. So you can see here that the, the, the knit strip is actually sewn into the corner of the, the V. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I have my muslin that I've been using on myself to test fit this to me. I've already stabilized the point. You want to support the fabric a little bit so it doesn't stretch out of shape while you're doing this. And I like to use something that washes away after you're done and is not permanent. And the reason why I don't like a permanent stabilizer or interfacing is because if you fuse that on to this V area, you'll see the snug or the, the, the stabilized knit, and then you'll see where it starts to stretch again, and I don't like the way that looks. This is a very thin knit, and it would be really obvious if I had some sort of interfacing there keeping it from stretching in places, and then where it released, it would show. So I like something that washes away. I'm using a Sulky Solvi topper I also use for embroidery. Um, so if you embroider, you probably have this in your stash. If you don't, you can find it at Joanne Fabrics or um, you know any um, you know any sewing store. It's nice to have on hand because you can use it for a lot of different things. You can get just a little quantity of it and have it on hand. I use it with my 505 spray to stick it onto the fabric. So you can see it's already on there and you can see even though it's really lightweight this is really firmly supported. So for this technique you need a two inch wide strip of knit that you've pressed in half and I have this here and it's significantly longer than what I need. I'm going to show you how to stretch the knit strip onto the neckline as you sew eliminating the need to measure the exact length of knit strip you need. Um, and so this is, you know, I recommend that you try this. I know um, people like to have an exact measurement. It's hard to give an exact measurement of a knit strip because it depends on the weight and stretchiness of your, the knit you're working with. This way, if you stretch it as you go, this is a perfect technique to use it with because it starts and stops on the ends. So you can just keep going along until you get to the, the end point and then just trim it to size. Now to prepare the V, for this, when you sew in a point, you need to trim the V, the seam allowance length, down from the tip of the V. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just snip this so it's about a quarter inch of a snip. Okay, so see how I've got like that little quarter inch V there? And then I'm going to take my knit strip and what I'm going to do with this is, on the end that I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to draw some guidelines on it to make it really easy for me to follow and match. All right, so I'm just going to mark my quarter inch stitching line like this, and I'm going to make a dot at the corner. Okay, so see that little dot? And then I'm going to continue my stitching line this way. And this is how I'm going to fill the corner of my V neckline in. Okay, so see, I've got this guideline. Okay. Okay, so to pin this into position, I need to open up my, my little slit that I made to a 90 degree angle like this. And then the short end of the knit strip goes along this end, this side of the strip. The dot matches up with the the end of my slit. So I'm going to show you how it looks on both sides. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. Oh, point. 
is right there. So see the point is going to line up right with the tip of the slit like this and then the other side of the neckline is going to be positioned like this. And this is really the only part you have to fuss with in making this neckline is just getting the end of the knit strip to, to be positioned right in the V. So see how I've got Okay, so there's a little bit of loose fabric underneath the slit, just a little bit. We're going to sew so it's right there. We're just going to catch that little bit right there. All right, so there's the point, and this is how it looks on the right side. Okay, so I've got the knit strip positioned in the point of the V. And it looks like that. I've played with this on the serger, and you can do it on the serger once you get the hang of it, but it's easier to control on the sewing machine. So let's let's do the sewing machine for this video. All right, so I'm going to start on the folded end of the binding, and I'm just going to stick it under my sewing machine like this, and I'm just going to use my straight stitch, and I'm going to use a shorter stitch length, like a uh, 2.0. And I'm just going to start stitching, making sure I'm not catching anything else. And when I get to the, the dot that marks the base of the V, I'm going to turn like this. And now I'm going to sew up the other side. Okay, so now that I've got the corner taken care of, I'm just going to gently stretch my binding as I go. Okay, so see, it's pretty stretchy. I'm just going to stretch it this little bit like this. Once I've got it stretched, I'm going to hold it against the machine. Just going to work little sections at a time. I'm not stretching the neckline at all, I'm just stretching the knit strip. So for this next section, there it's relaxed. I'm just going to stretch it like this a little bit, line it up, and now that I can reach behind, I'm going to hold it from behind as well. And I'm going to get my next little section of neckline organized. And see, I'm just stretching it a little bit as I go. Okay, so now when I get to the point, see here, this is my start point. I'm going to continue sewing until I sew right to the end over here. And I don't want to pull it really tight in the actual V because it will, um, you know, it'll pull at the V of the V shape. So I'm just going to just most gently just stretch it a tiny little bit. So I'm going to sew until I see that I'm almost over where, where the overlap is. And then I'm going to stop and I'm just going to trim my strip to get rid of some of the extra. And I'm going to take it out because I want to look at it. All right, see how nice that point is that we started with? Okay, so now I want to be able to make sure I'm matching the start line where I sewed. I'm going to sew right along this again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it and then I'm going to turn it over so I can see where that is. So this way, if I do it from this side, I can see. So I'm just going to stitch right along my original sewing line, and I can see it until I'm sure I caught the entire end of the knit strip. Did you see how easy it was just to stretch the knit strip as you went along? It really does save a lot of um, stress balls when it comes to trying to figure out how long to make your 
um, knit strip. Okay, so you can see here I've got um, a pretty nice V. It needs to be trimmed. I mean, I'm pressed. But see how nice that looks? So the last thing I have to do in here, you can see the end of the second end is not attached to anything. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to fold it over and you're going to stitch it to just the seam allowances. Okay, so here are, here's the, um, the end of the knit strip, okay, and we're just going to stitch from here, let me draw a line, we're just going to stitch from here to here within the seam allowance of the opposite side of the V. So I'm just going to stitch that. All right, so I'm just going to make sure I'm not catching anything except the knit strip. And I'm going to start at the base, and as and as I get to the folded edge of the knit strip, I'm just going to gently stretch it a little bit, just a tiny bit. All right, let's see how it looks now. I put my ham under there so you could see what a nice neckline finish this is. You know, maybe I'd practice it once before I did it on a special knit garment. If you're working with a really light knit like this, you can see here it's buckling a little bit right there. To support that, you could actually interface the, the wrong side of like the first half inch of the knit strip. That way that will lay nice and flat. Okay, so that's maybe one thing I would do for a really lightweight knit. And actually this is the first time I've used um, anything except matte jersey for this technique. Matte jersey is amazing and you don't need any special stabilizer on the strip because it works great. But on this um, rayon knit it's a little bit thin so I would do a little stabilizer you know just on that just on the part that overlaps. Okay so just you know the, the first half inch or so right there and then press it in half. All right, so that's how you do this V neckline finish that I'm going to feature on the Anna dress pattern. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and I will see you again really soon. Maybe I'll be wearing an Anna dress.